Beyblade. Hello again. To start things off, this is the second video in a series, so if you missed the first one, check out the video in the top right for a rundown on the basic rules and strategies that are at the core of Beyblade. As the title suggests, this video is going to be a deeper look into stamina types and what makes them just as formidable as the more aggressive Bays. And I know this is your least favourite part, but it is obligatory. If you end up enjoying this video and want to see more like it, be sure to like this video and subscribe with bell notifications on. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you want to see more videos like this. Now that that's all said, let's dig into what makes stamina types tick. Brief refresher on the game plan for stamina types. On the whole, you're not looking to burst or knock out your opponent. Stamina types are all about outlasting their opponent through sheer force of will and lower friction tips. They have an advantage against defense types as they don't have enough power to push you out of the stadium, and a disadvantage against attack types because they specialize in knocking around other bays. If your strategy is to outlast your opponent, you'll want to reduce the amount your bay loses spin. Because you're not in a vacuum, unless you're watching this from space, your bay will always be subject to external forces, like gravity, air resistance, and friction. However, by carefully selecting your parts, you can reduce some of them to a degree. The main one you have to worry about is friction. When two objects rub together, it creates friction. It's the reason why, when you walk, you don't slip everywhere. Higher surface area means more friction, so for stamina types, you'll want a tip that ends in a point or a ball to limit your point of contact to the floor. Material also plays a part in friction. Rubber tips create the most friction and as a consequence, have the least stamina. However, they use this higher friction to move faster and be more aggressive. Plastic is the middle ground Beyblade tip. It depends more on the shape of the tip, how useful it will be to stamina types. Palm or polyoxymethylene creates very little friction, and all the tips that use it are based around the idea of conserving stamina. You'll want to consider friction when choosing your layer. When choosing your layer, you want as little contact points as possible. Anything that protrudes can cause a big collision and reduce your spin. After friction, the most important thing to consider in stamina is called LAD, or life after death. LAD is the idea of increasing the time your bay will roll before it comes to a complete stop. When a bay slows down and topples over, it is still considered moving until it either comes to a complete stop or begins rotating in the opposite direction that it was launched in. Rounded parts like Extend Plus, Drift, and Over are essential for increasing your bay's LAD. And finally, you'll want to consider your bay's overall weight distribution. Focusing the majority of the weight of your bay to the outside increases its stamina. However, focusing it in the center will increase your knockout resistance, which is more important for defense types. A good example of outward weight distribution would be the wheel disc. These four gaps mean that the disc is heaviest at the outer perimeter, because that is where the metal is concentrated. To summarize, to make a good stamina type, you need a layer and disc with outward weight distribution a disc and a tip with good life after death, and a layer and tip which generates little friction. This would be considered a traditional stamina type. However, this is not the only strategy to consider. If you know your opponent is going to be spinning in the opposite direction of you, either by chance or by having a mode change, it may be better to have a layer with a lot of friction. I know this contradicts a lot of what I've said so far, but think about this. You have low friction, good LAD, and OWD with a high friction layer in the left spin, and you're up against a right spin attack type. As the opponent makes its attacks, you slowly sap the inertia from your opponent and reuse it for yourself. A combo like this, in this situation, would even have the potential to win if spun by ham. Spin stealers are excellent in opposite spin matches. Layers that I would consider great for spin stealing would be Vanish for left, Dynamite plus F for right, and Astral for both. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I still can't believe how much the last Beyblade video blew up, for my standards at least. I know my channel hasn't been the most active, however, I will try my best to upload as frequently as I can. Anyway, that's it for now. Mill go out. Peace.